Trusted by hundreds of thousands, ClassPoint takes your PowerPoint presentations to the next level. Instead of static, boring slideshows that we're all so accustomed to, with ClassPoint added into your PowerPoint, you can run interactive quizzes, gamify your presentations, access live tools, and even use AI. But that's just barely scratching the surface. In this video, we'll go through 10 little known features of ClassPoint that will take your PowerPoint presentations from zero to 100. First up, we have the 3-in-1 laser pointer. This tool combines a classic laser pointer, a disappearing ink pen, and a spotlight mode for easy access for highlighting your information on your slides. To access it, you can click on the laser pointer icon once you're in your PowerPoint slideshow mode. From there, you can click on the laser and drag it around on your screen to use it just as you would any other normal laser. For that disappearing ink, just click and drag across your slide to watch that ink appear on your slide and then fade away. And last, to access that spotlight, we can either click the middle button on your mouse or click on the S key on your keyboard. From there, you can also make the spotlight bigger or smaller by scrolling with a scroll pad on your mouse. Now, let's talk about deleting student responses. This feature is perfect for giving students a second chance to revise their answers or to remove any inappropriate or accidental submissions. To delete a specific response in an activity, hover over the response that you would like to delete for question types like short answer, fill in the blanks, or word cloud. When you click into that answer, you can click on the trash can and students will be able to submit again. If you need to clear all of the responses after a question is closed, you can do so directly in the activity by clicking restart or back in PowerPoint edit mode, you can click on that button, click on view responses and delete those responses from here. However, if you have multiple questions in your file and you want to delete all of the responses at once, you can do so easily by clicking on this reset button and deleting all the responses from here. You're able to do this stress-free because all of your responses are automatically saved in this reports tab that takes you to the ClassPoint web app. Which brings us to number three. You can find class reports for detailed insights into your student participation and performance in this reports tab. This will open up the ClassPoint web app, or you can just type in app.classpoint.io in any browser. That way you can access your data on your classes and activities anytime. Within the ClassPoint web app, you'll find that you can scroll through all of your reports and your classes in one go, or you can dive a little bit deeper into each specific class in this tab here. So from here, you can click into your classes, you can see your students, the groups that you have, any reports for just that specific class. And then you can click into that class to dive a little bit deeper in everything that was said and done in the class. You'll be able to see your activities, you can click on them to view the responses, you can also scroll down to find a quiz summary if you've used any quiz mode questions, any questions from your participants along with the class leaderboard. If you're looking for activities by a specific type, you can also check out this activities section and scroll through different activities by which activity type it is. Now let's move on to sharing activities. This feature allows you to share standout student responses or full activity results directly with your class or saving for later or sharing with a colleague. For sharing after a session, back in the ClassPoint web app, you can open up your class reports or just click on any activity and you'll be able to see that share button. Otherwise, back in PowerPoint, once you have a closed question, you can also see the share button so that way you can share on the spot highlights. The fifth feature I have for you is the live Q&A, a game changer for engaging discussions. Students can submit questions in real time and even upvote their peers' questions. To start a Q&A session in your PowerPoint, click on the Q&A icon on the ClassPoint toolbar once you're in slideshow mode. Then we can toggle this on or off to enable or disable the Q&A session. On the student side, those that are joined into your class will see the Q&A option at the bottom on their devices. Then they can go ahead and submit their questions and upvote each other's questions instantly. On back on your side, you can manage your students' questions by marking them as answered or even inserting the questions as a slide in your presentation to further on that discussion. 
Next, we have the gamification with customizable levels and resetting of stars. These two features keep your students motivated and give every session a fresh start when you need it. To customize your levels first, we'll go into our user profile, click on settings, and in the gamification tab, you can see all of your levels and begin editing them. You can remove any levels or adjust the stars it takes to reach a certain level. This is perfect for adjusting your class and using gamification in a way that fits your classroom. Watch the video linked up above for more information on ways to use these stars. To now start every class fresh and reset your stars, in the My Classes button, click on the class that you want to reset those stars for and just go ahead and click Reset Stars. Stuck with no ideas on how to engage your students? Class Points Quiz Ideas feature has you covered with ready-made templates for all eight of our question types. This way, you don't have to spend time designing or thinking of a question. You can browse the library, and once you find a question or a slide template that you like, you can insert that template right as a slide in your PowerPoint presentation. Once it's inserted into your slide deck, you can use it as is, or you can go ahead and adjust any of the text or the images on your screen. For a pro tip, I would pair this with ClassPoint AI. You can use the quiz ideas for the designing of your slide, but then change up the text by copying in that, that ClassPoint AI question that you've generated. For more information on ClassPoint AI, check out the video that's linked down below. Quiz mode takes your multiple choice questions to the next level by adding difficulty levels and automatically awarding stars for correct answers to your students. After inserting a multiple choice question onto your slide, you can level this up by clicking on the toggle for quiz mode. Adjust your correct answer and then pick if you want one, two, or three stars to be awarded. When quiz mode is activated, this also gives you extra data and reports on your question for your students' results. For more information on Class Point Quiz Mode, take a look up above and down below. You guys know me, I always love to pair play options with Quiz Mode, but these customizable options are great for any question. After inserting a Class Point question onto your slide, you can choose to set your timer to whatever time that you need. You have the freedom for seconds and minutes. And then you can also set your activity to start when you get on that slide and auto minimize. Plus, don't forget that to check out the options for every question. You have the option to allow multiple submissions, hide participant names, or set correct answers depending on the question type. And lastly, need to share your slides? The share PDF feature will automatically convert your PowerPoint file into a PDF and generate a QR code for instant sharing. Before generating, you can customize your settings by selecting which slides that you want to use and if you want to include those annotations and whiteboards. Once it's generated and that QR code appears, your audience can scan that in to download the PDF or any students that are joined into your class will automatically receive that file. And that brings us to 10. How many of these class point features did you know about? Hopefully you can add something new into your PowerPoint presentations to make them a little bit more interactive and engaging for you and your students. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, that way you won't miss another EdTech or class point video.